Hey guys, Sid Survival Guide. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Sid Survival Guide here, wanting to bring you a channel update. What I basically wanted to talk about is how the channel is going to progress going into the fall and the winter. We've been doing a lot of fishing and kayaking and a lot of other different things throughout spring and summer, and now we're going to be moving into a little bit colder months. We're going to start, uh, I think this morning it was 50 or 60 degrees, and uh, the high for today is 82, which is kind of like the first day around here that I walked outside, put the kids on the bus this morning and got a little bit chilly. So that opens up a whole lot of new opportunities uh, for the channel. And I say that because last year when it was cold, I've done a couple winter camps and I took my youngest on one and I really, really enjoyed it and so did he. So I've got some stuff that I would like to do if I can become mentally and physically prepared enough to do some backcountry camping in the Smoky Mountains. I've already got the prices to, to do all of the stuff to get them i can go on there and, and do it but i guess the biggest thing is trying to get it all together up here and out here so i want to do a lot of winter camping and it may not be like frigid style stuff because i don't want to jump into something that i'm not physically prepared for and get out there and not enjoy myself and not have a good time because when that happens it's going to make me less likely to go out and do it again and hopefully that will progress into some overnight challenges as in uh, eat what I catch for one day. I would love for the channel to go to that point and get there because the survival guide in itself, I would really love to be able to take you guys along with me while I learn to do all of this stuff. When I started this channel, I had very limited outdoor experience other than what I had done as a child, a teenager, and through my grown up years on my own, no guidance. Uh, people going fishing with me and stuff like that but anything that deals with bushcraft or canoeing or kayaking any of those things that are outdoor activities mostly camping was the camping and fishing is the only thing i've done as a kid and i really only went camping a couple times so i'm getting to take it out on the world in my later years you know i've been trying to take care of a couple things i had a paddle go down on my canoe so i had to stitch that up a couple other inside things that i'm going to be doing throughout the winter we're going to be introducing probably a little bit more cooking rather than ready meals and things that you can camp with i would like to introduce some of the skills i have cooking because i try out everything i made butter the other day uh i just cooked up some sea salt my brother-in-law came back from the from daytona beach and brought me some atlantic ocean water and i've got some salt if you guys are interested in that you can you can just leave it in the comments down below and i'll make a video about that i'm trying to perfect my own seasoning I've got a couple things going on and it's just spread out throughout this noggin and uh, I would really like to be able to get these things put down in video form uh, and documenting them is very important to me. When I started doing this, I really wanted to have these videos be really good, edited, all the things that you see every day, but I've got less than 100 subscribers, so my focus is going to be on the quality of the videos. I like to post every single Saturday at 6 a.m. You can catch me there every Saturday at 6. Now, if I do get some longer challenges, we may be working on a two-week schedule in order to try to edit those. But as of right now, there won't be any overnight challenges or anything like that until at least when it starts to get cold. I may do some, uh, I may do some stealth camping in the car. I've got a Mercury Mountaineer. Perfect to sleep in. Perfect little SUV for something like that. We've got a lot of different things going on. And hopefully you guys will join me throughout this winter and learn with me and experience with me as I try to increase the amount of knowledge that I have in order to pass it down to my children and hopefully experience it with you guys. If you guys have any questions or comments or you have any suggestions on what you like, might, might like to see in the East Tennessee area, just make sure and leave it down in the comments below. You can check out all my social sites. They're all in the description. My Patreon, if you want to help fund these adventures, that would be greatly appreciated. If not, just come back, watch, like, subscribe. This is Sid Survival Guide.